All right, welcome to episode eight of the Road to SSL series. In the last episode, I nearly instigated a diamond toxic 1v1. Unfortunately, the other guy didn't show up, but maybe we'll find one in the next games. We're still at eight out of 10 out of the 3v3 matches, so we still don't have a rank. I saw some comments about maybe continuing just doing 3v3 until we get the rank up near diamond, which I could see being a thing, but I do like to have the balance and I don't mind having it so that maybe once we get to a higher rank, we will shift back to 3v3 more often. If people do want to see that, let me know. Maybe I'll leave a comment and like, you know, we'll, we'll see which one has more likes or something. I'll do one comment for for 3v3 only right now, or I'll do it an, another comment for just keeping it the way that we're doing it. But either way, in 2v2, we're at Diamond 2 Division 3, so we're getting pretty high up there, but the games are still a little bit inconsistent from players. Of course, before we get into the episode, we got to do the meme of the day, and today we have Gavin with apparently Yak. This is going to be cursed. All right, so I have a Yak, and I have a nice little background for him to sit in with the mountains in the background. And then, of course, we have Jax. We have all the elements. I just need to make this happen. I think we know where this is going. Okay, before we do try to combine all those elements, let's try just putting in apparently Yak. I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm kind of scared. Apparently Yak. What do you got for me, AI? I'm absolutely terrified. Okay. I mean, yeah, those are, those are apparently Yaks. Let's see what it does when I do apparently Jack. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that looks like somebody. That's freaky. These are not real people. I don't like this. Ugh, I'm feeling weird. Okay, so we've got Jack's head. Let's move. Let's zoom in a little bit. We've got Jack's head here. I'm probably going to have to blend this in pretty nicely with the yak, but uh, it seems like his head already kind of fits the shape of the yak. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. So this is where we get a little weird, right? <laughs> And then I'm going to put this on top of Jack's head, right? And then I kind of want to like just... <sighs> Why do I do these things? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've officially lost it. I seriously wonder what Jack thinks of this one. Uh... But yeah, there's apparently Yak. Hope you guys enjoy this game the episode. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. We got 3v3. We've got hockey rules with Untouchable on uh, Neo Tokyo, which is actually one of my favorite maps. It is definitely uh, a little cleaner. I'm going to pop this back into mid here. I know we are a little lower level, but um, oh, it's already getting a little, little, little messy. Okay. I'm going to wait behind here, see if Looks like D Jones not really going for the ball again. He, he kind of touched it off the backboard. It's going to be a little tough on the backboard read here. See if they can get in there. Close. Nice cut for my teammate. Hockey rules might try to read this after they miss off the backboard. Good try. Off the backboard again. Let's see if my teammate turns in here. I kind of uh, dunked him a little bit, but this should be okay. If I, as long as I move back here. Now, the thing is, there's a player in the corner. I should, probably should have challenged that for my teammate, but he was also in a better position to turn for me. Okay, they miss. The thing about like 3v3, and I know that these games are going to feel a lot uh, a lot more confusing than twos. There's so many more players in the field. It's just to have a wider rotation than everybody else at these ranks to get in a comfortable spot. Like, let them make the touches. And then come in when you see the ball to attack it. This might be off target. And there we go. So I'm just like trying to scan really wide. And make sure I feel comfortable like that. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say his name. Mr. Man. He was ready for that ball a little bit, but I was just a little bit faster than him. What a name, by the way. Wait, I just realized the, these, <laughs> these names are very interesting. Uh, the one guy stopped moving. This might just go right in. It's a little off target. But the biggest thing is just to be comfortable going up for certain plays. Like right now I am second man. They both do go up though. My teammate should be rotating behind. It looks like he's still a little bit slow. Okay. So we'll be one game off of our placements after this one. Now you see the ball's free for me to touch the ball. So I'm just going to go for a clear and see if my teammate can get in the mid here. They both end up pushing on that ball. Now it's up the wall. I technically win this ball, but they are rushing at it really fast. So if I see that, I'm going to be a little bit careful and then just stay behind and make sure I'm consistent with my my, my touches. Make sure I know that I'm going to get a decent win and not go into these touches where I'm kind of gambling uh, with my touches. I don't want to like think that like, oh, maybe if I go here, I might win. I kind of want to be very, very sure. 
I mean, it doesn't always work. The mentality of that doesn't really always work at the highest, highest level. You kind of have to put your, you, you put yourself in the in the way, in some capacity. But at this rank, it's kind of more just make sure you're very sure of when you can go on the ball, and just get good solid front flip touches like that. Like that will that will be good to keep pressure. No need to barrel into the corners. Wait for the ball to go into mid and spill under me. And see if my teammates can aerial. The people are trying to aerial. If this is close to closer to gold. You can see, I'm just getting these nice turns, these nice pops. All I gotta do is just place myself in between, you know, their goal and the ball, and then go for a nice front flip. I can tight turn here. I kind of cut my teammate off a little bit, but it's fine to cut that and just see what happens. Hockey rules really close. You can see how that's not really gonna be that that valuable because he's so close. This guy might come to demo me or something. He didn't end up doing that. Now I'll push out for this ball. Now. All I gotta do is drive into this, and then it probably will spill in the mid somehow. Is it a good try? A little scary from hockey rules. The second I see that, I'm gonna try and flip back. You can even grab these boost pads on the way back. See, I got like an extra 30, 36 boost. Decent. My teammate turned a little bit wide, so. Or tight. I, I didn't expect that, so I kind of got bumped by him, but. He's still on it, ready to go. I see both my teammates are in the corner. Like, I do wanna be ready for this, but as you can see, it's a little scary to go for it. It's a good turn for my teammate in the corner. I'm kind of just placing myself there to be a presence. Nice, good finish. So like right there, all I'm doing is just being up near the ball just to make them do something. My teammate doesn't make the best touch, but like they also panic on defense, so ends up working out. Yeah, these three v three games are definitely a lot slower, so we're gonna, we're seeing a big high contrast between two v two and three v three right now, which I don't think is the end of the world. I think it's important to like sort of showcase the difference in skills as well at those ranks. Okay, my teammate was going for mid boost. That's kind of my bad. I could have. Rotate it a little bit wider. I'm going to go for a cut here. Boost back and secure this boost. That's a great touch for my teammate. See if we can go for a finish. And they do own goal, but hockey does finish it off. So yeah, like I said, I think it is important to see the difference between low, lower level ranked, even if it's threes, um, versus higher level ranked, and like kind of compare. As we go through the ranks, it's going to be interesting in contrast to see, like, okay, this is... Platinum in threes, but then this is a uh, champ in twos. It's gonna be good to see like the differences and why you might be making mistakes in one rank versus the other in different game modes. I know there's plenty of you that are higher rank in ones or higher rank in threes, but can't get there in twos or can't get there in ones. So I think it's really good to showcase you know the differences in skill and what I'm doing differently to adapt to different ranked players. Also, I do want to mention that was all gold, so we're definitely getting up there. This next game in threes will probably get us to either. Very high gold or low platinum. Let's see if we get threes. We do get threes. This is the placement match now. So even though people said that we were going to do maybe do threes more often, we're just getting threes anyway, which is perfect. I don't mind that at all. As we get into GC in twos, I think we're going to basically see more 3v3 until we get into um, the higher ranks. I like this four player kickoff. That's the high pops I'm talking about. It's a little scary if they get ready for the shot, but they didn't do it. Back corner boost for my teammate. Now nobody's on this ball, so I can flip towards this. Let's get some sort of challenge. I can already tell from the first episode of playing threes that these are way better players, just rotation wise. They're playing a lot faster. Good clear, but this is a little dangerous because that guy's cutting. And now I have a free ball. You see how I, I'm kind of getting a read on what people are trying to go for. Like you gotta put yourself in their shoes. In that position, they're scared that there's somebody shooting. So they're gonna cut really, really fast and try to go for a clear. So if I can get myself on top of the next ball, let my teammate go first. I'm trying to like reinforce that this guy should just move up too. Now I can get on this because this guy's pretty wide. Hopefully someone moves forward for this. That's decent my teammate turned on that. He didn't expect my other teammate to, to be back on defense for that. Okay, let's see what uh, Chase Sano does. All right, now I can go on this because my teammate made a good touch. So I can just stay close to this and see if I can bait someone closer. I'm gonna hit this up the backboard. So it was decent patience from uh, from that, from nervous, but I guess he was a little too nervous to actually pounce on the ball because his teammate Shadow was in net. He could have probably challenged a little bit earlier to let um, his teammate not be in the same position. He also could have just made a better turn on the wall. He did. He did sort of posture on the challenge and then didn't actually make the follow up on the the backboard. But we are in gold, so I don't really expect that to be a thing. You see, we're just we're just making touches that kind of give us opportunities over the backboard. And right there, I could have maybe tried to jump at that, but once again, they're they're kind of set up on defense with that play. Okay, Shadow's in an awkward spot, so now I can push up on this. It's gonna pop it off the backboard. 
high touches i find that high touches like even in champ i mean not champ even in platinum high touches just make everyone panic so if you can get really consistent with just doing stuff like this where you just pop the ball high it makes everyone panic um so yeah just try to get those consistent touches you really want to flip that like underneath the ball i know i'm driving very consistently i know that like at, at goal level people might not be there on the ball all the time but i'm trying to show how you can read the ball ahead of time see that guy missed and i just kind of backed off a little bit just in case my double my double teammate also missed and try to stay with this great challenge from the opponent once again my teammate should be right behind me to follow that up i get behind my teammate now push goes in for this we're doing a very solid rotation right now even though some misses happening we are accounting for each other's mistakes and that's where 3v3 can really be a big difference in twos um a lot more fakes at the high level a lot more leaving for your teammates and that can still happen in twos let my teammate go for this great finish see i knew my teammate was next to me i don't need to be the player to do that if he's ready for it looks like he was like itching to go for that ball he's kind of backing up and stuff so i kind of wait for him and let him go for it um we're seeing in 2v2 though like people are faking it more and making more passing than usual oh they left okay and that wasn't a forfeit so I'm going to play for the other team. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay. He misses. And they forfeit. Okay. Well, I was kind of helping him, but either way, <laughs> that's the second 3v3 game. That should be our placement. Let's see where we go. This might be plat one. Didn't we have a millennial comment? Oh, it was like a 90s kid or something. Man, I'm being called out. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and yeah, I am plat plat two. Wow, weird placement. I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised that put me in plat two, considering we just played a bunch of gold ones. I would understand if that was a plat one lobby, but the fact that we skipped plat one entirely and didn't even play any before we got plat two is kind of insane. We do have a player on our team who did have a tournament winner in plat, so maybe he was plat in a previous season. I know that you guys talked about that you're maybe lower ranks than usual because the, the rank has been pretty nasty to people. All things considered, we actually ended up getting a rank pretty close to our 2v2 rank, which speaking of 2v2, we are in the, ne in the first 2v2 game. We got plan zero. Elongated Musk and Sergeant Groobs. So thinking Diamond people are starting to flip towards the ball. This guy's trying to do like some sort of wave dash kickoff. And my teammate did take the back corner. Great read from him. You can see I'm already grabbing pads to kind of be in a position where I can stay on the ball. Looks like he wants it. Get chip over one. Good try. Now I got I get space to take this back here and I can get the back corner boost and then chip it around this guy. Now I have space in the ball. Good try on the bump. Good, uh, good aggression from Plan Zero Two. Right there, I'm just trying to get a shot on the top. Uh, basically, be a bad shooter once again. Just shoot the ball, but poorly. So hit it really early off the backboard. Now this is kind of scary because that guy's gonna turn, and I see that. Like those kind of passes aren't really gonna work. And I can see that Plan Zero is pretty fast actually. So we gotta be a little bit careful with that. This guy misses though, so now we got some space. I'm hoping my teammate can kind of. He's going for a bump actually. So instead, I'm gonna stay behind the ball and try to try to play with it. I I changed my opinion. Or not my opinion, but my decision making there because um, making a pass there was no longer viable. Okay, this guy's making pretty poor touches off the backboards. A little awkward for them. There we go. My teammate went all the way back corner boost, but their mid boost was there. So he backs off. And hopefully he should be on this. Good. Kind of took that back corner though from him. Okay. I can do is backflip this into the corner into a safe spot off the ramp. And then try to stay with this. So I'm just seeing what this guy's doing. Doesn't make a touch. And try and pop this around the two see if my teammate can go for this great bump might get cut off which is totally fine I see my teammates going forward so i'm just gonna go for this it's a little scary but anyway i had a consistent touch there if you aren't like i said if you aren't confident then don't go for it but my teammate might go for this and miss great read on the aerial though close okay, he might have a recovery i'll be a little bit careful now i have space in this ball so i'm gonna turn and I'm hopefully going to pass this middle this time. He does go for it. So once again, I'm not going to go for it anymore. And I have a free ball because he kind of panicked. Oh, a little scary. Team of team is trying to read it, but it's not going to be great. Like, I can't really go on this because there's two players kind of going for it. So I'm hoping he kind of gets in the way in some uh, capacity. Close. He kind of panicked. My teammate kind of panicked because um, um, he thought the other guy was going to make a touch. This isn't a good pass for me, my teammate to go for, so I like that he's kind of backing off. This could be an awkward bounce for him too. So it does go in front of the net. I gotta be a little bit careful. 
Now, with this position on the ball being up high in the net or off the net, I can take some time to get some pads. Elongated Musk is on this. A little awkward bounce here, but I can just stay close to the ball. And there we go. Plan Zero might turn on this and make an awkward touch. I think my teammate's trying to go for this. Let's see what he tries to do. That's actually a decent touch because I can go for this. Hoping to pop this off the backboard. They get a read. And my teammate should be on this ball. Nice 50. You can see how it would have been dangerous if I wasn't right there with him because it would have been uh, plan zero to have a play on me, a 1v1. So instead, I see that the ball is spilling out off the awkward 50-50. And instead, I just make a uh, solid touch around him when I knew I had the space. Because once again, when players are flipping, you know they can't really recover on the ball. Because um, they're in the middle of recovering off their flip. Oh, I didn't expect that flick to go in, actually. I thought he would have been patient. But yeah, I guess he panicked because the ball went a little high. I didn't expect that to go in. Um, but I did make a good flick over the one player challenging. A little scary. I kind of saw that off the 50-50 that he was making a poor challenge because he's off to the side a little bit. I'm just staying on the wall to stay consistent. It looks like plan zero might turn. But Elongated Must is trying to get <laughs> uh, basically in the way. And I'm just going to keep posturing, waiting for a good opportunity to make a touch. Even here. It's a little awkward because it's up off the corner, but you see he's going for the boost and there's space to touch this. And it's important the way that I touch that is not to just spill off the backboard again. I'm just trying to stay close to the ball. Good touch from my teammate. I can rotate in early here. Just try to do a tight rotation on the ball. Let's see if my teammate can go for this. Now, he might pass this out middle. A little scare. I see that the other guy's re recovering, so I can stay with this ball here. And make a touch around him, so now he's awkward. And now my teammate should be in mid here to hopefully turn on this. Great turn from him. We're making good rotations. He's sitting close to me, but not too close to where um, where he's over committing with me. He's just kind of playing good positions. Now this ball is awkward. I'm going to wait for the ball to bounce into mid here. And that was a great cut from him. So I could have cleared that to the corner a little bit earlier. I'm just showing that you should be reading that early because he could make a shot on target. You should be clearing that to the corner as soon as possible. Good of him to go early on that shot and just try to outplay me. That's kind of what you want to be doing on offense. Obviously, I would have just played that way in a, in a perfect scenario against like SSL players. I'm trying to make an even faster touch. I could have read that immediately. I waited for the opponent to get close to me to make that outplay. Ends up still getting a touch, though. Let's see if he leaves it for me. Okay, he doesn't want to leave it for me. That's fine. I have a touch here. Let's see if Plan Zero goes for this. I'm going to try and scare him because he is last and then go for the demo. And then see if my teammate can go for this. But it is zero seconds, so we've got overtime. I also saw a comment about maybe doing uh, some, like, four matches in a video. Um, also, right there, see how the opponent was going to make a touch there? I knew that I could touch the ball off that the backboard. See if he panics here. He misses. I hit this towards target. If they get it, good save. Plan zero is on this. I'm just going to wait behind. So I'll probably do a fourth match here. It's going to be at the backboard. This is a really bad touch from the opponent. You really don't want to do that kind of stuff because um, it gives the opponents like an immediate play down the field if they read it. I'm hoping my teammate can challenge for me here. Great play. Good pop. A little scary. So this is once again the space. So I can just kind of like tap the ball here. There's nobody near me. So I know I have the space to go for the ball. Plan Zero is on this. Hopefully my teammate can go for this. A little awkward for him. Great read from him. I see this guy challenging early. It's a little scary. I'll stay within the corner here. That's kind of a throwaway, but I'll go for the 50-50. The guy didn't end up going. I kind of threw that away. He should have been on that ball. Okay. Not the greatest stuff from Plan Zero because uh, Elongated had a play on the ball. Let's see what he does here with the ball. Decent. This chip might be bad from him if I can go for the bump here. My teammate doesn't end up going for it, though. A little scary. Okay. Go for 50. I'm going to stay close to this. Looks like plans here might go. It's off target. A little awkward from him. Hopefully my teammate can go. It's smart that he didn't go, actually, because the, the player was right on it. This ball is awkward off the wall here. So if you know how to read the ball to go for a touch like this, definitely try to clear it to the corner. Let's see what plan do zero does with this. He might make a poor touch over me. But back to my uh, my teammate. He wasn't really close enough to make the follow-up. 
This might be open here. I'm going to go for a high touch and not score it. I'm just going to hit it off the backboard and see what they do with it. Uh huh. <laughs> That's the last thing I expected was for that to actually just go in like that, but okay. Solid win there. My teammate played really well, rotated around me really well. Um, the one goal they got was uh, like off of a really aggressive play from them, which is really good. But overall, we kept really good pressure, and that's going to be Diamond 3 Division 1. We're going to do one more game. Hopefully, it's another 3v3 match, and uh, let's see how it goes. All right, so we did get another 2v2 game. We got uh, Prov and Parish versus Soundless and me. Let's see how it goes. That's a really great 50-50. It's going to be Soundless to get the mid boost, so I'm just going to get the back corner boost. I can also stay relevant and, you know, play off of... Um, Play off of whatever whatever he does off mid and get a couple pads, but not necessary. Great shot from my teammate. Let's go for a flip here. Okay, late flip from the opponent. I'm gonna take the boost and then let him make a touch. I mean, he might not be able to follow this properly. The sound let's try to go for it. A little scary for me to go for this, but I knew I could beat him. Only go for that if you know you're in a good position to follow it up. I'm hoping my teammate maybe cuts for me. Nice. I should have this ball for free. Even though this guy's going for it, I know I have the space. So I chip it around and see what happens. Oh, big miss. Salah's going to get B here. He should know that. Okay. That's a great play from them, actually. But it should, should be my teammate to go maybe go for this. He didn't go, so I'm going to push instead. Someone should be on that. And also, the opponent should have had a player on that as well. Let's see what he does here. All right, free ball for me. I'm just going to chip it off the backboard, see what Prov does. Woo! A little scary for me to go for this, but it ends up working. I probably shouldn't have went, but we got rewarded for it anyway. That's kind of the thing about Rocket League is like, I should have been outplayed there. They didn't make a great touch and Paris actually left the game, unfortunately, off of that. That's all it takes, apparently. He actually abandoned. That's probably it for him for the night, I guess. <laughs> all right. I, I don't know what to do here. I'm. So we do uh, 1v1. Let that go in. I'm not going to go for this. Let's see what my teammate does. And it might be straight in their net. Okay. That's a great play for my teammate. I uh, didn't expect this off of like the first minute there. It's definitely like an awkward dunk that probably got him a little frustrated. Oof. The own goals today are, are out of pocket. Oh, he's going for a ceiling shot. Can he do it? Oh, close. Now this is going to be uh, on target if he can shoot it. Nobody can get back. He's going for the double. He misses. Are we doing a freestyle 1v1 here? What's happening? Okay. Good fake. I really like that fake for my teammate. Oh, oh, the dribbles. Oh, I like that. You really baited in the uh, the opponent. This is interesting. I wish there was like a spectate button. Just leave the game and spectate. I believe my teammate. I kind of have the kickoff here. So unfortunately, my teammate's kind of out of luck for the the, uh, the kickoff. Yeah. Yeah, those are not good for him. But it will rotate to have it be unfair for Prov as well. Okay, good control. Oh, he's a dribbler. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's off. <laughs> I think he rolled off the uh, the ramp there. I'm going to go for the kickoff just so it's not like immediately in the net again. And then hopefully... Oh, actually, that's not really fair because then it's... Yeah, that's not fair. Um... Good save. Might be open. Yeah, it was a big overcommit from my teammate. See if we can save it. Nope. Is this what is this what ones is like at the lower ranks? Is it like very volatile goals? I feel like it is. He's going for it again. Can he get it the second time? All right. It's in again. I think it is like this. Is this is this what it's like? Just people like overcommitting a lot? I feel like that's probably what it. He's forfeiting. <laughs> 
Do I do it? Wait, he gave up. I'm going for. I'm. I, I was. I, we've. We've tag teamed. Got the ball again here. Good chip it up. See what he does. Oh. Okay. I guess we're playing one v one all of a sudden. So once we're just faking it and stay clo staying close. And uh, yeah, that's that's, that's going to be a consistent uh, play there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. This guy not playing? Is he is he giving up? What if I what if I do Oh he's not going anywhere, okay. Let me just do this real quick. Let's see what happens. Why is he quick chatting me? <laughs> Why is he quick chatting me? Hey, that's my boost. Come here. That's my boost as well. I want that one too. <laughs> huh. This game devolved very quickly. I don't know what's happening. I can't tell if he's saying nice shot to me to like be toxic. I think he is. If I do like something like this, what happens? Does he say something? What if I like hit it over like this? Does he say nice shot? What if I say like something like this? Oh no. I just go for like some crazy shot right at the end here. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. He might, he might shoot this. Good save. Okay. I'm going to do something at the very end here. Don't take the boost. Don't take the boost. No. I'm doing the shot he couldn't hit. Oh, I tried to dunk him. Close. Oop. One more. One more. We go for it here. No. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, man. What was that game? I don't understand. I tried to make it fair. I mean, the guy played really well. I don't know why Paris left so early. It was actually like a decent matchup. Hope you guys enjoyed. Nine saves from Prob. He played really well. Got some good uh, good defense. But yeah, um, interesting game. I was going to go for like some sort of flip reset. I decided not to like go for anything crazy because I feel like they would have like called me a smurf or something. And I tried to go for like a must, like a, like a musty that wasn't super strong. And then, I don't know. I just missed the catch at the end. I'm not going to lie. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. What are these guys? Is this my treasure? Did they steal it? I'm assuming that's my boat to the left, and I think basically all my treasure's been... Okay, yeah, it's been stolen.